Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to sketch the crystallographic direction of a vector when given Miller indices of a vector, ok. Here we have Miller index, indices given that is 0 1 0. So this is representing x y z, x is 0 so x is 0 right here and y is 1, y is 1 and then z is 0. So the direction is going to go like this, ok and that's how we got this one. Let's look at this one right here. X is 0, 0 right here. Y is 1, 1 and Z is 1. And the final direction we are going to have is like this. Let's look at this one right here. So when we have a negative 1 dash like a, when we have a bar it means it's a negative. So whenever we have a negative we have to move 1 unit in the positive direction. So if it's 1 negative we move 1 unit in the positive dire direction and uh, 1 for y, y1 is going to be here and uh, z is 0 oh, y1 is here right this is y1 and z is 0 and the direction is going to go like this but you can see this is drawn here it doesn't matter as long as you have the same direction it's gonna be same anywhere you can also draw a line like this that's also same as long as it's parallel to this one okay let's look at this one right here when we have two pro like when we have two we can take the two common in that way we can have one bar and then the middle one is going to be half and then this is going to be one and if we draw this one we can just draw this one and represent the final vector one bar mean when we have a negative sign we move one unit positive in the x direction so this is going to be one right here one in the positive x direction and half in the y so y is half right here in the middle and y one in the z axis so one in the z axis mean one right here right so one is here and that's how we got like this so that's how we got the vector let's look at this one right here here they are asking to draw this one zero two bar one when we have 2 we can take the 2 common so this is going to be 2 times 0 1 bar 1 right we don't have to put a comma so 0 1 bar 1 in the x it's 0 in the y it's 1 bar but whenever we have negative we can move 1 unit in the positive axis so we can put the y right here and uh, z this is going to be half because this is 1 when we take 2 common this is going to be half so z half is going to be in the middle so the direction of this one is going to be like this and that's how we do that i hope this helps thanks for watching